Uh, I'll tell you what I fucking loved. The royal wedding. Uh, wasn't that fucking brilliant? Yeah. Tell you what I loved even more was people telling me for two fucking weeks solid how much they didn't care about the royal wedding. <laughs> really? Because all you've talked about for two fucking weeks is how much you don't care about the royal wedding. Seriously, if we were friends on Facebook, my friend, and every hour on the air for two weeks, I kept saying, ooh, I hate penises, I can't stand penises, oh, don't come near me with a penis. By Tuesday, they're going to be going, fuck's sake, man, just suck a dick. <laughs> my point is, if you didn't like the royal wedding, suck a dick. Uh, <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not a massive fan of the royal family, uh, where I'm from in Portugal. Um, <laughs> there's a reason we buried Grandad under a flag, I'll just throw that out there. Uh, <laughs> Well done, the six people that got that. The rest of you go, no fucking idea. Did he, did he really like flags? He did. He fucking loved a flag. Um, <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I went, it was what people going on about was annoying. The press were fucking annoying as well. When they go, ooh, it's very modern, isn't it? Mm, it's very modern. Ooh, it's so modern. It's like, no, we've had black people for fucking ages. <laughs> She's not the first fucking one. <laughs> he didn't fucking marry a Tamagotchi. It isn't that fucking surprising. <laughs> Ooh, it's very modern. No, it isn't. I'll tell you exactly what happened there. Prince Harry went abroad, saw something he liked, and went, fuck it, I'm having that. <laughs> that is the most traditional British thing you can fucking do. <laughs> that goes back to the granddad thing. I'll explain it afterwards. Um... <laughs> And it was fucking weird, because I found it particularly annoying, because I'm part of a mixed-race couple myself. Uh, one of us is black. I won't tell you which one. Spoilers. Um, <laughs> fuck, I should. The wife's black. I'm white. So that... <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> fuck me, I'm going to destroy that poor bastard. Um... <laughs> But no, and there was because I, I got asked to be on a shit thing on like cable television thing about being part of a mix, like was it difficult being part of a mixed race couple in Britain? They wanted to do this show in it because uh, it turns out Lenny Henry and Don French are broken up, and there's a big fucking gap to number two on the list. Um, <laughs> I actually, I said no as well because I just went, I just couldn't fucking do it because they sit you there, and the first thing they do is, so is it, Queeve, is it, is it hard to be to be married to a black woman in 21st century Britain? I'd have to be honest and go, yes, 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 it is. But to be honest with you, the word black is not the difficult part of that sentence. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, ladies. I fucking love you, but I've never, I think I'm part of every white woman I've ever been with. It wasn't like I was fucking good for them either. I'm a fucking nightmare. I don't understand women at all. You're like sports cars to me. I say that with a height of respect. They're like amazing, beautiful, incredible things. Magnificent, wonderful. And when it's going great, it's fabulous. But if you break down, I have no fucking idea how to fix you. <laughs> All I can do is apologise, and if that doesn't work, we have to get a real man in to fucking take over. <laughs> and I'll tell you the other thing that pissed me off with the Royal Wedding, they're going, oh, they did such a magnificent job of, ma- of like, melding the two cultures. I went, fuck off, that was easy. That was a British person, an American. Start, you want to do a difficult wedding, ladies and gentlemen? Half Irish Catholic, half Ghanaian Baptist. That was a fucking challenge. <laughs> Now, if you ever tried to find goat on short notice, it's pretty fucking tricky. It's true, it's nice though, but lovely. Uh, <laughs> it's true, we did, we had a because I am, I am Catholic, uh, by the way. Uh, not by choice, to be entirely honest with you, but the Catholic Church got some very strict rules that once you've been signed up, you can't leave, no matter how many fundamental disagreements you've had with them. Um, very like O2 if you're with them, very similar system, right? <laughs> And my missus is second generation Ghanaian, right? And you've met any Ghanaian people. They are the nicest people in the world. In fact, they are genuinely too fucking nice. They're, they're so nice, it's a problem, right? I actually had this in Liverpool at a gig a couple of years ago, right? Just before myself and the wife got married. And I went into the toilets at a, at a club in Liverpool. And you know, sometimes you go into the toilets and there's like a fella there in the corner with like shampoo, well, like shampoos, that's weird. No, um, <laughs> if you walk in, the man tries to wash your hair. That's fucking weird, that's... That's why they're very fancy or very creepy. Uh, but you know, they've always got like the spray things and the mints and all that. Don't fucking look at me like it's only me. I've, I've not been stalked by the same black guy for a decade, have I? Be fucking weird. Uh, but I walked into this thing in Liverpool, right? And I heard this guy chatting to somebody else. And I've been out with myself with the missus now. I know her family very well, lovely people. I can recognise the Ghanaian accent. So I was standing there having my pre-gig pee, not to spoil the magic for you. But, um, and I heard this guy's accent and I just went, oh, are you Ghanaian, my friend? And he went, yes, yes, I am. And I went, oh, my fiancé is Ghanaian. And then he went, ah! And ran across.
lost your hog, me, while I was taking a pee. I don't know if you've experienced that, unless you're German, it's unlikely. But it's a fucking weird sensation. It's genuine. Like, the only thing I can just compare it to, have you ever seen a dog where they're trying to take a shit and a kid runs over and starts petting them at the same time? And the dog gets that look in their face like, I'm, I'm what? I'm doing the bad thing and I'm getting the good. I don't understand. Make it, oh, it's weird. I like it, but I don't like it. I like it, I don't like it. It's weird. So this is embarrassing enough. And then Dave, the guy who books the gig in this other part of Liverpool, just walked through the door, saw me being hugged by a six foot four black man while taking a pee, literally walked in and went, oh, never mind, and walked straight back out again. <laughs> but they are, they're lovely guy names. But we, we, we had a service and, we, and you know, we did the whole thing. But Mrs. took a lot of effort to make sure that everyone could be you know, sort of involved in the service and all that. Because it was quite challenging because literally half the room were like, well, my side was like Irish Catholic, her side Ghanaian Baptist. And that wasn't confusing enough. The entire back of the church was about 40% of the British comedy circuit. The most heathen bunch of fuckers you've ever seen in your entire life. Two of them spontaneously combusted when they tried to walk into the church. And like, they're all sitting in the back, right? And then one of them, just before the service started, went, fuck, I don't know what the moves are. So what are you talking about? And he ran up to the best man and said, what are the moves? Because I don't know if you've been to a Catholic service, but there are moves. Like at various points, you stand, you sit down, you kneel, you stand, you sit down, you kneel, you stand, you sit down. You... It's like a really low energy workout. The idea is by the end you've burned off just enough calories from one of those pieces of bread we give you. <laughs> so we ran up and said, Adams, what are the moves? Well, I don't know. The best man went, I don't know. I've been to fucking church for 20 years. I've been a fucking clue what the moves are. He went, just follow Queeve's dad. He's very religious. And he is. My dad's very religious. He's also 83 with a bad hip. <laughs> Without my knowing, my entire wedding turned into the world's shittest game of Simon Says. <laughs> With a whole bunch of people just trying to follow one poor eight-year-old man just going, oh, oh, oh. And the other thing we did is we tried to make sure all the songs were the same. Because your Ghanaians are like, Ghanaians are they're very religious as well, by the way, Baptists. Like, one of the first things my mother-in-law said to me, my now mother-in-law, when I met her, just out of nowhere, she went, Jesus loves you. I went, does he? <laughs> I was brought up Catholic. I have never heard that before. All I've ever heard is Jesus knows what you're doing and you're going to hell for it. <laughs> I didn't even know Jesus liked me. <laughs> so they are, they're very fucking happy, loving their bit of God, loving a bit of Jesus, right? So we're having this service and the missus goes, well, we need to make sure everyone knows the same songs. So for the end of the service, you pick Sing Hosanna, which I'm sure most of you know. They can do it in most, you know, things over here, any kind of Christian shit does it, right? So we had that on the thing, right? So we started singing that. Thing is, the Irish Catholic version of Sing Hosanna is like Radiohead on a bad fucking day. It's basically, Sing Hosanna. Sing Hosanna. No one's ever joined in before, but fuck it, why not? Good news, fella, I found you a woman. Um, So the Irish Catholic version, seeing how they are, pretty depressing. The thing is, Ghanaian Baptists, as previously mentioned, they love a bit of Jesus. Yeah, they uptown fucked the fuck out of that thing. <laughs> they were swinging, they were clapping, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna. You can just fucking see the Irish standing there like horses just seeing their first race car going, the fuck is that thing? Fucking speed up, come on, Granny, get in the game, fucking move, sing. They're fucking lapping us, it's like the Olympics, fucking come on, get involved. At one point, the priest was literally standing there going, oh, God, let this be over. This is horrible. Oh, if there is a God, we're going to get hit by lightning right fucking now. And me dad at one point went, this is fucking ridiculous, and sat down. And so did half the fucking church. <laughs> that is a mixed wedding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>